Massimo, the most famous restaurant in all of Sanu. Gelato bar up there, which is generally crowded. It's not too bad. Who's this? I'm McKenna. McKenna. And where are you from, McKenna? Uh, where do you Perth. Live? Perth? Yay. Yay. Everyone's from Perth. It's good. Yes. Is a good holiday? Do you like Bali? Yeah. yeah. Are you going to subscribe to our channel? Yeah. Yay. Yeah, we're going to subscribe. So what do you like about Bali the best? Go to school. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, no school. <laughs> oh, that could be arranged, you know. <laughs> There's schools in Bali. No, I know, but I don't go to school in Bali. Oh. If, if I go to school in Bali, then I can't go back to Perth to go to my other school. No, and then that's right. I have to come back and get that school, and then I have to go back <laughs> oh, okay. there and get that school, and that, and that, and that. Oh, it's too much. For it's me. too hard, isn't it? Wow. Yes. Like music over that beat. <laughs> <laughs> if I sign off the school now, then. Probably, in my, when I go back to Perth, I had school when I go back to Perth, and when I go back, somebody is going to make me go to school. Yeah. Oh, who would that be? And then I have to go Ooh, there mother. to okay. get to school, okay. and then it's yeah, going to be over. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you all on YouTube one day. Yeah. You definitely will wear some subscribing. We will subscribe. Good on you. Having a great time in Bali. Yeah, having a great time. Beautiful, it's very hot, but the food's amazing. And where are we? We are at, Mo where are we? Massimo's. <laughs> Massimo's. I don't How even know where I am. How did you forget? That was, <laughs> that was McKenna, Nayara and Adele from Perth. Okay, we're at Massimo, giving it another try. We came here previously, a few years ago, and hated it <laughs> so we thought we would come back and give it another go because everyone says it's the greatest and so far pizza's yum service has not been brilliant but they're okay um, so it's better than our last experience when they wouldn't let us sit at the bar and made us sit on a little brick wall and got a burnt pizza but this time it's much better let's have a look at that pizza mm. And what's the special thing you've got on the top there? Pineapple, olives, mushrooms, ham, cheese, tomato, delish. And, and not too burnt? Artichokes, no, it's not bad. And I'm trying a spaghetti aglio, and it had a lot of other long names to it. And what it is consisting of is obviously the spaghetti there is tuna anchovies and it does say from flakes i think or something like that and chili flakes to give it hot flavor because i said yeah it's gotta be hot and let's have a squiz have you seen guy we will that's it in its glory. How much did that cost? That one cost a hundred and no, that cost ninety-five thousand rupee. And, and this was seventy-five thousand, but adding pineapple is extra, so I'm not sure. And what about that coconut milk you've got there? Mm. I'm not a big fan on coconut. First time I've ever had it. I'm not the hugest fan. So I've got a Coke Zero instead. So if you were on a desert island... I would drink it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only circumstance. Okay. I might try a bit myself later on. Inside we have fridge sections with the selections of desserts and they look pretty good, I must say. I'm not sure if the camera does these justice. It's cocoa berries field. And the red velvet cheesecake. The 
range of small chocolates. And here is the stage where there are some performances every now and again. Yeah, the seating around the inside of Massimo's would probably be about 20 tables. There's some large tables on that side. And smaller ones here. There's the kitchen that will get very busy at night. And we came at lunchtime to avoid the crowds and during dinner times it becomes very busy reservations are recommended lots of photos on the walls not sure if they're all celebrity photos but it does get from our previous experience it does get quite loud is Massimo the namesake so lunchtime is our preferred time to come here we did have quite a good feed and sitting in the upper area But yes, it would be very busy. Here's, here's our staff at Massimo's who will look after you all. Thank you guys. Thank you. Down across to the bar area. Sit out in the sun or the shade. But yes, lunchtime is a good time to come to avoid any crowding and enjoy a decent meal. Well, the food was quite good and uh, maybe because there was more time for it to be prepared there was a little bit of a delay with the service uh, getting the food but maybe because um, they're not as geared up for the nighttime sessions but the food was quite good and quite tasty i had the spaghetti aglio which had um, a decent helping of parmesan on the top the young lady came around with a little cheese box and I just did not tell her to stop and she kept going so enjoyed that and Marg's pizza was quite good I had some myself and it was a total um, totally different pizza to what we had last time which was a pretty bad experience and um, the pizza was nicely cooked and so that that was um, a good review for the food I think so whether it's the same at the night time when it's very busy and they're under stress and things don't go quite to plan um, could be the case but come and have a look for yourself I want to add we've been sitting here for a while and the empty plates and flies and empty can and all that is still sitting here and the staff, there's two girls just behind where Derek is and they have not made a move to clean up the table so I'm not happy about that. It's been a, quite a while and it should have been taken away by now but um, so that's not good, not happy with that. And there's the young ladies over the back there. <laughs> waving away but not clearing tables.
but otherwise... Yeah, the food was nice. The food was nice. It was great. Not expensive. Come for lunch, not for dinner, because it's much quieter. At night it's so noisy. And if you do want to come at night, make a reservation. During the day it's half empty, so it's fine. But if you want to come at night, make a reservation or you may not get in. It's very popular. And we're in the outdoor section. There's the bar over there. Uh, with a little bit of shade, a bit of sun as well. So a lot of people having desserts. I think they're bringing their gelatos back inside. This is the rest of the outside area. And the red roof out the front is where they serve the gelato. And particularly of an evening, very hard to walk past. They do rope it off, but the crowds do spill out onto the road and it is quite awkward getting past. So um, be aware that there also, is a queue. There's a lot of flies. A lot of flies hovering around our food, which is also annoying, but we're outdoors, so I suppose you can't help that. Hello. This is our way to Yes, this my name is Annie. 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 Nice to see you. Great job. She's yeah. worried about us being too hot. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you make the YouTube? Yeah, yeah. Wow, nice. Do you work at night? Pardon? You work at night as well? Yeah. Or just during the day? But now we are working the egg hour. I'm start in the morning. And then in the five or uh, four o'clock uh, we go home. Oh, and okay. then next with the not so bad. Session. So you don't get the busy time at night. Very busy it's tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and why we and do. would you recommend getting a reservation? Yeah, I uh, I recommend it for you if you would like to come in the Massimo, you make the reservation yeah. before you come in because if you come in without reservation, if you like it, you get the table. If you're not lucky, we have a little bit waiting That's list right. for the table. Yeah. Yes. It's good advice. Thank you. Because, hey, uh, no, can, gelato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The moment yeah. Really yeah take this. All right, how many flavors do we have? We have the baby cup with the two flavors. We yeah. have the sundae cup with the three flavors. And then we have the last cup with the five flavors. And then we have in the glass also, Mom. Mm. We have in the glass, we have the small, medium, or last cup. You get the four flavors. Wow. Can you imagine having four or five flavors in no. one go? No. Oh. I, I couldn't. Which one is size would you like? Would you like in the cup or in the corner with the two flavors or three flavors? Um, just two flavors for me. Yeah. I might have... Oh, goodness. Too many choices. Too many choices. Yeah. We have the 100 recipe, but we can display only 48 flavors. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is all my favorite. <laughs> yeah. But I'm very like it. It's oh, yeah. a bunch of cake. Ciao. Yeah, ciao, ciao. Good. We have the bunch of cake. It's good. Yeah, that sounds good. The popcorn. Yeah, that's what I was gonna get. The popcorn is good. Mom. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. I'll we get have that. the sea salt caramel. No, I don't like sea salt. You don't like sea no. salt? Hazelnut, the blueberry yogurt, mm. or the strawberry yogurt, honey. The wild berry. It's a good choice. Uh -huh. This is good. I picked it. So I'll just get a small one. Yeah, you get the flavors. With two flavors. So I'll get the popcorn marshmallow and the burnt cheesecake. Sure, thank you all. How about you say? The wild berry cheesecake. Do I have to get two? Two yeah. flavors. Two, two flavors. flavors. All right. One would be wild berry cheesecake. cheesecake. And then the other one. And what goes with that? Berries. What would go with that? Crunchy rum. Alright then. Alright, crunchy rum. Crunchy rum. All in the cup, yeah? Yeah. Thank you very much. Would you like some coffee maybe? Oh maybe, maybe. a coffee. We'll have the, have the, the gelato first, first yeah. after the gelato is coffee, yeah? Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you, Thank Annie. You. <laughs> so this is the famous Massimo gelato that people queue up on the street for for ages. But if you're eating at the restaurant, you can order. They'll bring you 
a list of all the flavors and you can order from your table and they bring it to you. How good. Looks yummy. I've got burnt cheesecake and popcorn and marshmallow. And Derek has... Wildberry and crunchy rum. Oh yeah. Do you know how much these cost? No idea <laughs> at this point. Now there's no prices on that board. No, we'll find out. We just wanted to add that Massimo was quite good. The waitress was lovely. The food was really nice. A couple of little issues here and there, but mostly good, much better than our last experience, don't you think? I think so. Yeah. Mm. And also the waitress told us that if you make a reservation, you can ask for the air conditioned room down the back, which we didn't even know existed. Mm. So, I would do that next time. Oh, it's a probability, yeah, yeah, if you would like to avoid the additional heat that would build up during the night because just because it's so packed. Um, the toilets also are air-conditioned, so that was a, a bit of a bonus um, if you need to go and have a bit of a chill session. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just wander down to the toilets down the back. But um, air-conditioned room, it probably is not that big and probably holds maybe six tables but um, it would be a wise choice to make if you prefer not to yeah. sit if they've in, got the, the space yeah. she, she said she'd put you in there but yeah, I think have you to might have to early. make a special reservation yeah for that one yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. anyway or if, if it's on the night and you're lucky and you ask for a condition and if there's a table available you'll probably get in but uh, it's best to make the reservation and keep your eye open for our favorite waitress there Annie, Annie. <laughs> hi Annie <laughs> thank you Thank you. 